really proud of our girls for their, their efforts and their execution on the court. It just uh, shows that we were an at-large team that absolutely belonged there. Questions for the student athletes first. Darren, you guys were pretty loose in warm-ups. I was watching you guys kind of dance in the music, lip-syncing a little bit. But then when the match started, you kind of implored the theme, you got to want it. Did you guys come in here with the focus, but knowing that you had to have fun with it as well? Absolutely. We talked about how we have to have fun and play as a team, and I think we pretty much did that. Have you guys been like that all year with kind of a mission, being as young of a team as you guys are, having some fun and, and having a mission at the same time? Yeah, I think so. Um, we always try to have a lot of fun. It makes it, the game easier and uh, makes us play well. For either of you, can you just address um, the way that Washington was able to block uh, today? That was a big stat, a big difference in there. Just how, how they were at the nets, and that give you guys some, some fits at times. Um, we practice uh, with guys all the time, and so we're used to that big of a block. So it wasn't anything like surprising for our team. We just needed to use what we've been taught, use the block, and hit around them. And um, like you said, they blocked well. So. <laughs> like we we play that all the time, so it wasn't anything like it was a shock for us. You just pride yourself on defense. You outdug them. Um, do you the defense a, a big part of your game, and, and just afraid that we just address the way that that helped you uh, this season. And um, we have a game that we play, and I think that forces everyone, not just our barrel, to be good at defense. So um, that really plays in the hand for us because it's not just one people that one person that we um, rely on to take. Ball. It's everybody. We always want to get two punches. So. Just um, thoughts of, I mean, it's hard not to think about how good this team can be a couple years down the line, just given how young you are. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> I it's, think so I'm, excited. <laughs> I'm excited to get back in the gym. Um, I'm like ready to start preparing for the next season. And I got one more year, so it's anxious to see what I can do in the next year. And it's exciting to hear what they're going to do in the next few years. So. Anything else for the student athletes? You two are excused. Thank you. Both qu questions for coach. A lot of times after the first round of a tournament, when a team loses, we see a lot of tears in this room. I see a lot of smiles. You guys get a sense that you'll be back. Absolutely, it's not without a doubt. You know, we talked about enjoying the experience, enjoying this for what it is. You take it for granted that. Uh, we're one of 64 teams that have been invited to play in this prestigious tournament, and we're really proud of the body of work. And you can't be, you know, kick it down on us for the effort that we showed against a team that uh, arguably, you know, was probably looking beyond us. And, with, you know, obviously we understand that mentality, and we were hoping to use it to our advantage, and I think we did. I think we had them on the ropes and uh, a few tough plays here and there, but um, we earned our respect that we deserve. What was it about that second set that you guys were able to? It seemed like it, I won't say it looked like a different team, but you guys almost did play a little yeah. bit different. It's, uh, it, it's interesting because we could have uh, rolled over and died at that point, but uh, it's the first time that all these kids have been, been there. One of our players was with us in 2008, and she didn't play on the court at all. So it's an opportunity for, for everyone, and ourselves included, to see the resilience that this young team has. And they bounced back and obviously took it to them and were relaxed. And at that point, we haven't really discussed it, but I don't know if they got tight because we were thinking about potentially winning it and getting a little ahead of ourselves, or the, pinching ourselves thinking, wow, we can really do this. So either way, um, we're really proud of the effort that the girls show on the I asked Taryn a little bit about that resilience, or not resilience, but just the kind of loose, yep. able to just let anything kind of go. They were really having fun with this, it seemed like. Yes. Um, we've had ups and downs this year, as um, some of our, our record indicates, but Anytime we, we went back to work the next week, we learned the lessons, and some of the lessons that we learned were really, really tight. Um, our opponent played loose and had fun, so that was a theme throughout that we really wanted to focus on and improve upon every outing we had. And can you just address Washington's blocks and what they were able to do at the net against you? Sure. We knew they were going to be physical. Um, we didn't over, over scout it. We didn't over talk it. Um, the girls alluded to the fact that we're used to seeing some of that with our coaches in the, in the gym playing against them. Uh, they've seen it all season. Uh, we talked about it was just one point. It was an opportunity. They had some amazing kills. They had some impressive blocks. But uh, we were able to move on and play within that next points moment. So very impressive, very physical team, uh, very well coached team. Um, but I think they don't mean to demean their impressive block, but we've seen it quite often. And we knew that we weren't going to be able to strategize against it player for player. But that's not something we've never done all year.
So they don't mean to uh, downplay it. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else for Coach? Thank you. Okay.